Hey guys, this is Adam from K2 Home Tech. I have a couple of new products, actually new updated products from Glenopto to show you today. It's a 6 watt and 12 watt uh, Zigbee Plus bulbs. And we're going to be giving a couple of these away, and I think probably on Christmas Eve. Uh, so stay tuned, so I'll, I'll show you how to enter and how to uh, win a couple of these products with the remote control. So stay tuned. Okay, so today I wanted to show you a couple updated products. We have a 6 watt Glenopto Zigbee Plus bulb, and this is a 12 watt Glenopto Zigbee Plus bulb. Now the plus on these, and you'll see the little the new uh, logo on here, the plus stands for radio frequency. So these also work with Zigbee and radio frequency. So what that means is you can use this radio frequency remote. This is not a Zigbee remote, but this is a radio frequency remote that will then pair to these bulbs so you can have control outside of your Zigbee network, or you want to have local control, like if you want to put these in your kid's room, or maybe guest room, or somewhere else, that you still want to be able to use automations or use your Zigbee hub, but you also want to be able to give somebody uh, local control, this will do that. So let me, give, let me show you the first well. This is the six watt bulb here. It's about 500, 550 lumens, and it's about, it's smaller than our standard A19 bulb you're used to, just to give you an example, this one is a Echo Smart LED bulb, so it's a little bit smaller than that. This is the 12 watt bulb. This gives you about a thousand lumens, and this is a three-way bulb. Those are a little bigger than your normal bulbs. So this is a 307100 three-way bulb, and it is just a hair wider than this one, about the same height. So just keep that in mind for your fixtures you plan on putting these in. These are a little bit smaller. These are a little bit bigger than your standard A19 bulbs. Um, so let me show you how to use them. So you're going to pair them like you would pair any of your other bulbs with your Samsung Smart Things or uh, your Philips Hue. So you're going to go into your Hue app, turn the bulb on obviously, put a light setup, add a light, search for it. Should take about 10 seconds before it finds it, about as normal as your other ones. Now I can see it found it. So now it's in my room, I have labeled test. You can turn it on and off with your Zigbee hub. Uh, you can change colors, obviously. You get over the color wheel. So you can change your colors. Flip it over and do whites. So it does cool white and warm white. It does brightness and dimming. So you can dim it down. Put it back up again. But the added functionality with this bulb is that you can use a this remote control. So now it's already paired with my, my Philips Hue. And now I can use this uh, remote control too. I gotta pair it with this remote. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So I'm gonna turn it back off. Now I mean, you, you have six zones on this remote. So you see them labeled one through six. And you have on and off for each one of those zones. So what you want to do when you first turn it on, you have about three seconds, you're going to hit the power on button on whichever zone you want to put it into. So for this one, I'm going to put it in zone one. And so all I'm going to do is turn it on and hit the on side of the toggle here for zone one. And that should be it to pair it. So wait till the LEDs come on. And there it goes. It turned green. I paired it. So now this remote as well, you can do your whites. You can do brightness. Okay, up and down. You got your whites, you can tune your whites. So you got warm white, you got cool white. Turn it back up again. You got your colors. So again, this is great for kids if you want, you want to give them control in their room for it. They can still, you know, hook these up, play with the colors all they want. You can turn them off and on. <clears throat> it has a night sleep feature here where you can hit this button and it'll, it'll slowly fade off for 60 seconds. It also has a few modes on here. Um, the modes will give you I'll, I'll put a listing down below what they are, but the the modes on your on your um, instructions here. So static warm white is mode one. Static white cold white is mode two. It just goes through a few modes. They just do a couple blinking, a couple flashes. I'll show you real quick. So this is mode one. Static white, static warm white. You hit mode two. Static cool white. Hit it again. Mode three, and then this goes to. Oh, static cool light. Mode four is red, so there goes red. Mode five is static green. Mode six is static blue. Mode seven is RGB fade in and out, so fade in and out on different colors. 
So there's your red, fades over to green, goes over to blue, kind of a color loop. Uh, mode 8 is an RGB flash, so it should flash through the different colors. There you go, now it's not fading over, it's just snapping to them. And then mode 9, the last mode, this is color breathing. And this one is where it'll fade in and fade out on different colors. I believe it does all of them. It does a loop, right? Oh, this is one color. You gotta pick a color and then it'll fade in and out on that color. Again, this gives you this gives you that local control without having to use the Zigbee Hub. So it's great for kids to play with. It's great for if you have guests, in-laws, whatever, over, they can always control the lights. Ooh, that one's on. And it's just the Zigbee 6-watt bulb there. But again, remember, this, this remote only works with products that are labeled Zigbee Plus. So they have to be Zigbee Plus in order to use them. Um, so for Zigbee Plus, we have the 12-watt, the 6-watt, and then our down lights, our 9-watt and our 12-watt down lights are also labeled Zigbee Plus. It'll work with the same remote for those as well. So again, you have six zones on here. So you can set up six different rooms in your house. You can set up six individual light bulbs in one room, whatever you wanted. Um, but one remote will do a lot of different uh, zones. So I will do the same thing with a 12 watt to show you what that one is. I'll add it to Zigbee. So first I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna go to my Hue app. And a light. Yeah, I'll just show you just how quick and easy this goes, right? So you're just gonna add a light here, search. Should turn green when it finds it. There you go, it'll pop up here in a second. Nope, there it is, I didn't see that. I'll just rename this one 12 watt. to that room again. There you go, now it's in the room. Save it. And again, when they're in the room, you got control over both of them, right? So I'm gonna link these together so you can see them move. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So they're both on cool white. Now they're both on warm white. Go to your color wheel. There we go. So you can tell the 12 watts a little bit brighter than the uh, than the 6 watt. And obviously you could do your scenes. So you do Savannah Sunset. You just run through the scenes. It'll do the same scenes that... Uh, you know, your hue bulbs will. So that's nice that it does that. You can add more scenes. It also works with your third party apps like Hue Disco, uh, Hue Dynamic, those things. One thing these won't do is you can't add these to your Hue Entertainment area, so you can't add them to Hue Sync. So third party's not supported with that. Also with Apple HomeKit, third party's not supported, so you can't add them there either. But same thing again, I'll show you real quick how to pair this. Again, I'm going to add just the same zone, the same zone one I had on there before. So I'm going to do is turn on, and then within three seconds, I need to hit the power button for on. So turn it on, LEDs come on, and then I hit power one. And it turned green, so now it's paired. So now they are both together on the remote. And again, I could do one zone one, one zone two, whatever it may be. You can turn them off, and you can turn them back on again. That's pretty much it on the Glenato Zigbee Plus. Remember, Zigbee Plus is what you can use this remote for, but it has to be Zigbee Plus. The regular Glenato products won't work with this. So the whole new line is out with Glenato Zigbee Plus. So you have controllers that are out. You have the light bulbs, the down lights, um, the garden lights. They're all going to be Zigbee Plus now, which means you can use a remote for them. All right, so now the giveaway. What I want you to do is comment on this video, which of these bulbs you like better, the six watt or the 12 watt, which ones you would use more. And uh, 
like the video and subscribe. And I guess on Christmas Eve, I'm going to give away one set of these. So either the 6 watts or the 12 watts, whichever one you wanted, whichever one you said you could use. And then one of these remote controls. So I give one of these sets away on Christmas Eve. So again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which bulbs you want to use, which ones you think you'll use more. And then I'll uh, send these out to you. All right, thank you. Okay, so we realized doing it against the green screen, you can't see the lights that well. So I'm showing you now against the shears we have in the front of our house. So this is the warm light. It's the cool light. We'll run through the colors here real quick. Go over to green. The yellow. Up to orange. Around the red. Through the purples. And back down towards blue. Get into the ice blue. Back over towards green. Flipping back over to the whites again. You have dimming control. You dim them down. It's on about 4%. Remember about halfway. Up to full power. They work with your scenes. I hope this gives you a better idea of the colors and the brightness of the bulbs themselves. Again, this one on white is about 1,000 lumens. This one on white is about uh, 600, 550 lumens. And this is the 6 watt and this is the 12 watt bulb. Okay, thank you.